won't you look at this? The recipe that is being featured in this week's video is all right here in this bowl. And this salad is called the Edamame Snap Pea Salad. It's a really good summer salad and we're going to show you guys how to make it. And it all starts with the preparation. This is very complicated. So here's a pot and I'm going to be making some seawater by putting some salt into it. So I just eyeball that. You can measure it or just eyeball it. <laughs> and we're going to prepare for this to be accepted into the seawater. All right, so got the water boiling. I'm going to add like a couple more dashes of salt in here and let that dissolve and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then we're going to start blanching the snap piece. Let me go get them. Yes, this process is called blanching. More about that in a bit. So, but first we're going to chop up the snap peas. So here are some satisfying sounds of ASMR to get us through this. Roll the clip. And here we go with the, um, um, the cooling area and the solid bowl. I'm filling it up with water and I apologize if it's getting a little too loud. And here we go. Um, here's the ice bath. And this is going to be used for shocking the snap peas after they cook in the pot. And here goes the blanching process. The waters came to a boil, so we're gonna go ahead and prepare to put in those sugar snap peas. I spent a multitude of hours preparing the snap peas for this process, so I packed them into the packaging where it originally came in, and I'm going to just dump them into the pot of boiling water which is literally like 100 degrees or something. And two minutes on the timer and they will be ready. Next, we're after it's done, we're going to take a little slotted spoon and we're going to take some of those peas and we're going to drop them right into this ice bath to shock them. Shocking process basically cools them down right away. So it makes them nice and vibrant for the salad. And now we're going to make the vinaigrette for the salad. All right, so for the vinaigrette, you're going to need mustard, soy sauce, olive oil, pepper, sesame seeds, obviously, and rice vinegar, and a garlic clove. First up, we're going to grab a garlic clove and we're going to peel it being legitimately honest. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start peeling this garlic clove and we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to process in the food processor. So first step, pop the top. We're going to go ahead and pop the garlic in there. Make sure it's all plugged in and everything. And we're going to give it a whirl. All right, that looks good. So um, next go in the sesame seeds. And I did film this like two years ago and I meant to release this like two summers ago, but I literally procrastinated until now. The next eight ingredients are the soy sauce, not shown, and some olive oil. <laughs> Oh, 
the next ingredients are mustard and then the oil goes in. And this is going to set our stage to add the final ingredient, which is the rice vinegar. And that is what's going to make the salad taste so delicious. And now it's time to add um, the rice vinegar. And now we just add the rice vinegar into the processor and blend. And there we go. It's all done now. The next step is to chop up a shallot, which is basically a tiny onion or something. Shallots are used for salads. After that, it's chopping up some carrots and then some radish. And now it's time to assemble a salad that starts with draining the peas into a colander. And that is then followed by pouring the vinaigrette into the bottom of the dish. After that, um, thaw and cook up the edamame according to the package instructions, then dump that into the salad bowl. From here, you add your snap peas, and as a lovely option, you can have some chives in there. Ooh, that is really good. And then just stir them together. From there, um, you add the radishes, shallots, and carrots. Toss it up one more time, and it is ready to serve. Just set it on the table, and really, and even, even if you're going to have guests over after this pandemic, this is pretty nice recipe to do. The term of the week is blanch. I kind of explained that process earlier, but it's the process of briefly cooking vegetables Example, sugar snap peas and then putting them into ice water to cool them down straight after. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell to join the notification squad. And you can check the recents by clicking on the left screen. And you can view more in the vegan cooking playlist by clicking on the right screen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next week.